Hello, I'm Fred Cummins, and together with my colleagues Fintan Costello from Computer Science and Maria Bagramian from the School of Philosophy, I co-direct the MSc in Cognitive Science at UCD. Cognitive science programs are rather rare. Cognitive science as a field has fuzzy boundaries because it consists of the overlap and interactions between many different fields, including psychology, philosophy, artificial intelligence, neuroscience, linguistics, anthropology, perhaps robotics, perhaps more. What the overlap has in common is teasing out the various ways in which minds, brains and behaviour are treated in scientific discourse. There is no single story to be told here because of the chosen complexity of the area. Now because of the highly interdisciplinary nature of cognitive science, students come to us with a wide variety of backgrounds. We look only that they have been prepared through their foundational studies to engage with these interdisciplinary topics. The master's program is a small one. We admit 10 to 15 students per year. The program is run between the schools of philosophy and computer science with inputs from other schools, including notably psychology. And while we take students with a very, very broad, broad background, we have no single specific entry requirement, rather we judge each application on its merits. The application crucially includes a statement of your research interest and from this we try to see whether what we have on offer and the manner in which we treat of cognitive science would suit the particular applicant. We often get mistaken for different things. A cognitive science degree is not a psychology degree. Psychology is one voice at the table but by no means the only one. It is similarly not a clinical degree and cannot lead to any career progression in counselling. It is also not at all the same as what is known as cognitive behavioural therapy, which is a specific kind of therapy articulated within a specific field. And crucially, and we need to make this very clear, it is not a degree in artificial intelligence. Just as it's not a psychology degree, it is not an artificial intelligence degree. And the very notion of artificial intelligence is something that we will elaborate on, explore and indeed critique. The program structure looks like this. There, it's a 12 month program in which you have two trimesters of taught modules. And there is a substantial research project done during the summer. The modules are evenly split over the two trimesters. Part-time students can take this over two years, in which case they take a half a course load in each trimester. But they still also do a research project in one summer. Um, research projects are developed together with staff members within the programme. And it is to be assumed that you do not know at the outset what research project you will follow. We will work with you to help you develop one. The modules cover a broad area. We have eight core modules, which are listed here. They are seven and a half credits each. So four of these are taken each trimester. In the first trimester, the introduction to cognitive science gives a very broad overview of many of the concerns of cognitive science from many directions, quite general. Then a specific approach, that of cognitive psychology is provided in the introduction to cognitive psychology. From the School of Philosophy, we have Consciousness, Agency and the Self, which introduces some concepts basic to the philosophy of mind. And then from the Psychology Department, we have the Fundamentals of Cognitive Neuropsychology. So you can see how these various technical ways of approaching the complex questions work out within individual specific fields. In the second trimester, we have a module on Connectionism and Dynamical Systems. These are forms of models often used um, in studying human cognition and they have been changing and we'll be interested in how they change over time. There's a practical follow-on to the cognitive psychology module in cognitive modeling. From the School of Psychology again we get some readings in visual and social cognition. And then I have a module on embodied and inactive approaches which develop themes around cognition which are not neurocentric, but rather rooted in the body and its relationship to its world. Now, 
some students will have already have a background in one or other of these because of the interdisciplinary nature of the program or some may have a preference to to make substitutions here modules which are commonly used for substitution would be the cultural mind um, the computational creativity human computer interaction and the philosophy of the french philosopher maurice merleau ponty um, other substitutions might be considered in specific cases if they are appropriate, but our default assumption is that students take the eight core modules. Some things to note. This is not a vocational degree, and it's certain, especially if we're mistaken for a degree in artificial intelligence, um, this is very important. This is, this is designed with progression to research in mind. It's designed for students who wish to engage with the intellectual content, but not in, a, in an industry-focused or um, career-focused manner. It is towards research that we teach. Historically, about half our students go on to do PhDs, but you shouldn't assume that that's possible, because advancing to a PhD will depend in part on your prior background, which we don't change, because students come from a variety of disciplines in our 12 month program they learn a lot of breadth but we don't change your we don't change your fundamental orientation so with all that i'd be happy to answer questions my email is there um, and we look forward to receiving your application